Hey everyone, I hope that God has blessed your week so far. Friends, today I am blown away by the love of God. He's been so good to my family, and He's been so good to our church too. That's why next Sunday we are having a celebration dinner simply to tell God thank you for all of the good things He's done in our church. Stoney's ordained, Harley is home, and one week from today, Trevor's coming home too. Guys, we have so much to be thankful for. And while clearly not everything is hunky-dory in our lives, if we are honest, then we are tremendously better off than we deserve. Amen? This morning I was reading in my Bible, part of my daily devotions, and I read Psalm number 136. Psalm 136 is, is 26 verses where at the end of every verse, in the New American Standard Bible, it says, For His loving kindness is everlasting. The King James says, But His mercy endureth forever. Twenty-six times, the psalmist gives an example of something in our lives, and then says, Why? Because His love endures forever. One of the things he challenges us to do is, he challenges us to look around. Uh, one time he says, Why is there food on our table? Because His love endures forever. My friends, I'm convinced that you can look at any aspect of your life, if you are a follower of Jesus Christ, and every aspect of your life is a result of the love of God. It's the same when you look in the Old Testament. The psalmist says, why did God part the Red Sea? Why did God bring the children of Israel out of Egypt? Why did God defeat the enemies in the land of Canaan? The answer, because His loving kindness is everlasting every time. But verse 9 is particularly interesting to me. This is what verse 9 says. The moon and stars to rule by night, for his loving kindness is everlasting. What is the psalmist saying? The entire reason that God put the stars in the sky is because he loves us. Think about that. Nearly on a daily basis, the Hubble telescope is discovering new galaxies, black holes, stars, quasars. And some of them are tremendously beautiful. Look at a picture of the Cat's Eye Nebula sometime if you get a chance. It's wonderful. It's beautiful. And what the Bible says is that the reason that God put that there was for our pleasure. You know, a lot of people believe in aliens. And I'll be the first person to admit that our God is powerful enough to create whatever and whomever He so desires. But I will say this, guys. The stars in the sky, they were put there for us, for our benefit, for our pleasure, because God loves us. When we look at our lives, when we look at Scripture, when we look up at the night sky, everything screams, God loves you! But friends, if you want the ultimate example of the love of God, you've got to look to Calvary. It was on Mount Calvary that Jesus Christ gave up His life gave everything simply to save us from our sins, simply out of love. There was no other motive except for He loves you. Friends, if you have never trusted in Jesus Christ, maybe you've never heard the gospel, or maybe you've heard it and you've just got questions, I challenge you to go to our church website. Specifically, when you go to our website, there's a page called the What We Believe section. And that's going to explain in depth what the gospel is. Or, of course, you can contact us through the church website or call the church. I'd love to talk with you about the gospel. But since you're already online, why don't you just take a minute to go to www.weatherfordfwb.com backslash whatwebelieve.html. That's going to explain the gospel to you. Friends, God's love is amazing. And His offer of salvation is for you. The question is, are you willing to plunge in and give him your life? God bless.